the friends. In this video, I'm going to share with you the four exact small changes I made that helped me lose 50 pounds in three months. I used to weigh 275 pounds. I was morbidly obese and I knew if I didn't start making changes that I wasn't going to wake up one day. But I needed the changes to be manageable for me. I needed it to feel like I wasn't putting out a whole lot of effort and that I wasn't going to be giving up all of my favorite things, including my favorite foods. So these changes helped me do that. Not only lose the 50 pounds in three months, but I went on to lose 130 pounds and keep it off for seven years. Change number one. I switched from regular pop to diet pop. At the beginning of my journey, I was drinking seven regular cans of Dr. Pepper a day. I did the math, it's 140 calories per can. So just by making that one switch from regular to diet, I was saving myself 980 calories a day. And why that's so important for me is because I didn't wanna give up pop and I wasn't ready to drink less cans. So by doing that, Diet Dr. Pepper tasted just as good as the real thing. It felt literally effortless. Like I wasn't doing anything, but I was getting results because I was literally saving almost a thousand calories a day with just that one change. Number two, I switched from a large family size bag of chips every night for a snack to a bowl or a single serving bag like I'm gonna show you here in this B-roll. I again, like the pop, I did not want to give up chips, but I knew I needed to eat less and I was ready to do that. So instead of the big family size bag of Lay's, I still ate the chips, but I would put it in a bowl and this is literally the exact bowl. I was just going to say that is the bowls we use these, these types, this exact one, not these types. <laughs> no, literally this exact bowl. Um, and Sassy, my husband behind the camera, he has lost the same amount of weight and he made the same small changes as me. And you know what? One, one day, because we needed to, to save our lives, we said, we've overcomplicated this for years trying to lose weight. Let's keep it simple. Getting rid of the potato chips hasn't been working for us. No. Let's portion it out. And so the bowl was really good, but if you're somebody who like me and Kyle at the beginning, the bowl sometimes when it was done, we still wanted to eat more. So if you're someone who has to keep eating, the single serving sizes are perfect because if you buy one a day, and you eat that bag, when it's done, you have no more chips in the house. So you ate your chips and now they're gone. And what and me and Nicole would do is like, if you, we do groceries once a week, so buy seven, but label them or put some in the freezer or mark them as, you know, your husband's or your partner's, whatever, so that you won't eat them. And that is actually something we did that we often share. We put each other's names on stuff because I'm not gonna eat Kyle's food. So if it has Kyle's name on it and I'm done mine, I'm not going to touch his because he's my cute lovey. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have to put your kids, put your dog's name on it, put someone, your neighbor's name on it, anything that will help you only eat your serving. Eventually these changes that I'm sharing with you, I did combine with portion control and 15 minutes of walking a day, which is what helped me continue getting the results to lose the 130 pounds. Um, but the next one helped start me on my portion control journey. Number three is I ate one less plate of dinner. So again, we're looking at the exact plates that I ate dinner off of when I was morbidly obese. These are the sizes. I ate two to three of these plates loaded with food. I'm talking loaded. Again, I didn't want to change what I was eating. I didn't want to give up the food I was eating. So I said, what if I just did this? and ate two of these loaded plates instead of three. It still felt I was getting my favorite food. I didn't feel like I was being denied. And because it was literally only one plate less, I was still getting a second helping. So again, it felt like I could manage this. It felt like I could do it and be consistent with it. So Sass and I were just talking off camera and he had a really good point. This was like, let's call it damage control okay because sassy and i both had emotional eating really bad and we knew by taking the food away it would cause us to eat more so this was like minimizing that it was 
Because what we thought was, okay, we have to be perfect. We have to not be emotional eaters anymore. Well, that's not possible. We still get it a lot in the comments today. Like the food police will come in and say, you shouldn't eat this. You should never eat fast food. You should never eat cereal. You should never drink diet pop. If we listen to that, we wouldn't be here right now making videos. We had to start doing some damage control, admitting that we are emotional eaters. How can we minimize the hurt that we're doing to ourselves in one in this meal today? Exactly. And it was by eating two instead of three of these. And it's about, and Sassy just said this too, it's about making small changes that you can be consistent with, not perfection. We always wanted to be perfect, but that didn't work. So doing just the, eating just a little less was more doable for us. Basically, we stopped living in this fantasy world where we thought we were gonna go from a bag of chips every night, pop, massive plates of meatloaf, potatoes, french fries, pizza, to kale salad. And, and we thought every Monday morning we were gonna do that. And then we realized, this is not reality. We're not gonna wake up if we don't shake things up and make some small changes. And so, it's about picking your battles it was about getting the weight off. The weight was causing us serious health problems. This was no longer about picking the healthiest food. This was about getting the weight off to save our lives. And another thing we had to get rid of was the guilt of eating what we liked. Yes, and not worrying about what anyone said, about what other people's opinions of what a proper diet is. We had to do what we had to do, pick our battles and save our lives. And that's exactly what we did. And that's why we're standing here right now sharing this video with you. And if you guys wanna know the exact meals and portions that I ate to lose the weight, I have weight loss eBooks down below. I have a brand new body recomposition plan. The links are all down there. And also the link to the supplements, Huddled HTLT Subs is down there. You can use code Nicole to save yourself 10% off. Cause we don't eat a lot of meat and meat's really expensive expensive so the yeah. protein powder goes a long way a scoop is like 20 to 24 grams of protein and protein's really good because it lowers your hunger hormones so you feel like fuller longer and now let's move on to number four which was I stopped I I switched over from using regular sauces and condiments to make my food taste better to lower calorie versions and it's the same thing again I didn't want to give up syrup um, jam, barbecue sauce. Instead, I switched to the lower versions because I was saving a few calories here and there and that really adds up. So for example, the regular barbecue sauce of this one, it's for two tablespoons, it's 45 calories, I think I wrote that down. 45 calories for the regular version of this or you get the calorie wise and you can have two tablespoons, the same amount for 20 calories. So that's 25 calories here you're saving, 25 calories there. It adds up to where you're going in a deficit without even realizing it because you're still eating your favorite stuff. And again, like, look at these jams. This is the regular one. It's 50 calories for one tablespoon of this Smucker's jam, or you can get the Dora low calorie one and it's 25 calories for one tablespoon. So again, 25 calories here, 25 calories there. This one is crazy. So this is regular pancake syrup and it's three tablespoons for 160 calories or I call this Steve's Maples. Um, guess how many tablespoons? Four for 1.4 calories. So like it's crazy and like we can get, we get this at the dollar store where 1. we live 5, in Canada. But I think um, they changed it. They must have because on the back it's 1.4. Really? All right, so it's it's one point something, but you, know you get what, the picture. <laughs> you know what that is? What is it? Mandela effect. <laughs> you just saw it live right here. <laughs> and this is cool point because people always ask, well, why do you have this in the house still? Because when I was my heaviest, when I was 400 pounds, I said all the time, I'm never eating real jam again. When I said, you know what? It's legal. It's a lot. You're allowed to have real jam, but this would be once in a while. This would be a daily driver. Yes, and like we worked, we worked through our emotional eating enough to the point where we can have this stuff in the house, um, and that is exactly it. When we took these away and said no and didn't buy them, after losing my first hundred pounds, I 
gained 10 pounds back because I took away all of this stuff and it backfired. So I had to put it back in the house and then I was able to lose that weight plus the rest and that's how I've been able to lose the weight, the 50 pounds in three months, then total 130 and keep it off for seven years and Sassy did the same thing. He also gained weight, had to put it back in and lose it. So the, I had this all or nothing, go big or go home, be perfect plan and I realized it doesn't work. Doing way too much too fast always ended in failure. In the end, it was the small changes that led to really massive results for Kyle and I. And so you guys can do this one thing at a time. Pick one thing. You can just pick one of these small changes or make your own. Modify it for you. And that's it. These small changes led to massive weight loss that literally saved our lives, guys. And then, guys, you always ask us about alcohol, about if you're... If you really love regular Coca-Cola, drink the Coca-Cola. Don't in. don't pick that battle. Pick easy battles. These were pick easy effortless. For us. for us, it didn't really matter about the jam. But no. if you're a if you're a jam freak, then don't choose this battle. Choose a different battle. Yes, like we get a lot of I like cream in my coffee. Have it. What I do, if I really want something, I measure it out. So if I want real jam, it's a tablespoon. I measure it out and that's it. Build it in the day. Pick, like Kyle said, pick the battles that are doable for you. And like Nicole said, make it effortless because if it's effortless, you'll more likely to stick to it the rest of your life. Yeah, we're not going with what the weight loss industry says. You gotta grind it, baby. You don't. You can make it feel like, am I even dieting? Because we're, we're lazy. Okay? Yeah. We don't like to work hard. We don't like to punish ourselves anymore. And I'm not giving stuff up. Like, I want all of this. Yeah. And so I'm having it, man. And look at, look that. <laughs> so the friends, love yourself. Pick battles that you can actually win. And love the journey. This is not a punishment. We love you. You can also watch this vid and this vid to find out more about fun tips on how to love your food and just like, mm -hmm, be cute, you know? And that's it. We love ya. I'll catch you in the next vid. Peace out, my love. See ya. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.